I'm Aspen. And this is your Monday Report. I'm Lane, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Augie Chappas, and this is your Monday Report. I'm Sophie, and this is your Monday Report. Hey Vikes, I'm Emery, and this is your Monday Report. Juniors, there is an ACT survey on your school G page. Please complete it this, by this Friday. If you're looking for a job, the Shawnee County Sheriff's Office is looking to hire dispatchers. If you're interested in learning more, please see Mrs. Noble. Trick or Treat So Kids Can Eat wraps up at the end of the month. Make sure you bring in canned foods. The winning seminar will be re rewarded with an ice cream party. Also, Tales on the Trail on November 2nd is looking for volunteers. If you need volunteer hours, this would be a great opportunity for you. Congrats to the boys and girls cross country teams. The boys took third and the girls took second at regionals. They both qualified for state next Saturday at Rimrock. Now, over to weather with Josh. All right, we are weather aware this week because we're talking about some wintry weather get ready highs in the 30s and 40s and lows down into the 20s and 30s it's late october but it's going to be feeling like late december so let's get you started off here with a look at the past couple years and the first snowfall that was recorded and in terms of measurable snowfall so that's at least one tenth of an inch Back in 2017, it was on Halloween, and that brought us four tenths of an inch. Then last year, it was on October 14th, bringing us a half inch of snow. This year, it's once again likely to be in October. We'll see if it's today or a little bit later on in the week. What a fascinating weather pattern that's setting up for late October in 2019. Now for the afternoon commute back home today, we're giving it the yellow light. Some light rain will be developing with temperatures near 40 degrees and a light northerly breeze. So let's show you this with our future radar. By 3 o'clock, this star is Topeka. You can see some rain and snow out in western Kansas, and then that will move east. So here's the picture. By 5 o'clock, additional showers are developing, and this will start as rain but quickly change over to snow by five and seven o'clock look at the picture right there it looks pretty snowy but the good news is that the ground and road temperatures are far too warm for this to stick and by 11 o'clock any remaining snow is already out into missouri so for today here's what we're looking at a light dusting of accumulation possible on grassy and elevated surfaces but again very minor impacts to travel Watch out for a few isolated slick spots on your commute to school Tuesday morning. Then on Tuesday, we catch a break because we're drying out and mostly sunny skies, but it's going to be very cold. Look at these temperatures for your Tuesday, starting out in the mid to upper 20s, and we won't, get, we won't do any better than the low 40s for Tuesday. It looks like a very cold day coming up once again for the second day of the school week, and then... We're tracking round two of winter weather this week. Look at this, a much more widespread area of snow. This system coming in Tuesday night into Wednesday night. Rain, freezing rain, sleet and snow are all possible with this, but the accumulations are still uncertain. Here's an early look at the potential sleet and snow accumulations. We're giving it a 70% chance of one inch or more. Yes, this is October and we're talking about an inch or more of accumulation, three inches, a 50% chance. And how about five inches, a 30% chance. I think we'll end up somewhere in this range right here, but wow, accumulating snow in October for 2019. How does that sound? And take a look at this seven day forecast. Whoa, this looks like December 43 today, 42 tomorrow. There comes the snow Tuesday night, Wednesday, Wednesday night, very cold temperatures. And look at those morning lows. Every single morning in the next seven days will be below freezing. It looks like sunshine returns next weekend. Stay safe over the next few days. Emery, back to you. 
Thanks, Josh. We are going to have Counter's Couch on Mondays. I sat down with Miss Alaker to talk about what's going on this week. Hey, Vikes. I'm back with another episode of Counselor's Couch, and Miss Alaker is going to give us some information. Well, hello there. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I have a lot of information, lots of things going on this week. So Monday, lunch, Washburn University is going to be here. Tuesday, the Navy will be here um, for lunch and for Cal time. Wednesday, we have ESU coming during lunch, and we have KU coming during kelp. Also, the Washburn Tech Test takes place Wednesday in the library at 12.30. That one is full, however. If you would like to take that test, you can take it November 20th. Sign up with Mrs. Conley in the counselor's office. Then we have Thursday happens to be Halloween, so dress your best co warm costume. According to Duncan, it's going to be very cold. And then we also have Thursday, um, oh, Calp time, Mrs. Ross is doing a session on scholarships and how to find your scholarships and get that for college. And then Friday, of course, is November 1, first day of November. That is your priority day for most of the colleges, which means get your applications in for deadline for the first round of um, financial aid information for the colleges. All right, thanks for the update. MPS, my office is done. Come check it out. If any of this pertains to you, make sure you are planning ahead. Have a great rest of your week.